Hi, this is Powell with a Visual Basic exercise from the book Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. This is an exercise from Chapter 8. This is the Project 1. And um, we are given a file called uh, ale.txt that contains this information over here. It contains the name of the team and how many matches or games they won and how many games they lost. And uh, we are supposed to write a program that uses that file to produce a text file containing the information in the second table, which is this one. This is our output, in which the teams are in descending order by the percentage of games won. So this is our input file and this is what we are supposed to create. Uh, we are supposed to write a new file that has the teams ordered in the percentage uh, percentage games won and it will have the number of wins and number of uh, uh, lost games so let's say New York uh, if you go over here we see they won 95 lost 67 and this is the percentage and it's ordered in the descending order so we will be using some uh, uh, writing, uh, you know, manipulation with text and some link queries to create that. Now the uh, the file that we are given looks like this. It's a simple text file with the team, wins and lo uh, lost games. With team, wins, losses. So, um, and we will create, like I said, the one that uh, will have the team, wins, losses and percentage. So that's not the, I already have the form by the way, which is simple form with a button. Once we click the button, it will write the file, write a new text file. So there's nothing to it. So uh, if I click the button, I go to the uh, event handler, of course, and uh, I'll start with the defining the new file, which is going to be an input output that a stream writer because we are going to be writing a new file and we can simply create it uh, let's say do create text and we will name it ale2 that text oh, I'm sorry that txt this is uh, this is the uh, stream writer that will create a file called lae2 dot txt now we have to get the file that we are provided uh, into this, uh, you know, into our query. So uh, I will start a query, and it will be from, and I'll call it I don't know da data, and it's going to be from the file, the original file l a l e dot txt. So it's going to be our input output file that, and we will read all lines from the file l a l e dot txt so this is our this will load all the data all the all the all the text from the text file now let's uh, process it and uh, you know get it uh, output uh, in the well let's calculate the percentages and order it in the descending order so uh, first let's uh, declare a team that's going to be a string and uh, it's going to be from the data from each line of the data and we will split it because remember uh, the uh, the text has commas so the first element would be the team the second would be the wins and the last one would be the losses so we will do the data dot split uh, well to string actually I don't know if you need it split because it is a string and um, it's, it's the delimiter is a comma and we are talking the team is the first element in the in the text file it's the it's this before the first comma so now we'll do the second element, which would be the wins. So we will declare wins as, uh, and it's gonna be an integer. And now we have to convert the, uh, the string into an integer. So we will do the conversion to data.split, just like we did before. Once again, 
it's a it's a comma uh, is the delimiter but this time the element is one because as you again you, if you look and see at the file these are the wins this is element zero the team number team name and element one is the wins and now you can probably guess that we're gonna do the same for the losses so uh let lost as integer equals and we will convert it to, to the integer and it's going to be the data that split and this is the third element which is since it's a zero base it's element two or with the index two okay so now we have a we have the team we have the wins we have the losses we can do the percentages so we will declare percentage as double this time because obviously we need uh, decimal uh, places so we will do that uh, we will convert it to a double and uh, averages are uh, you know the percentages are simply uh, wins divided by wins plus lost so this is this is going to give us the percentage because wins plus loss is going to give us the uh, uh, the number of, of games. So we will do the wins divided by the number of games, basically. That will give us the percentages of the of the wins. All right. So now we have to order them. So order by uh, percentage, and we will do it descending. And now all we need to do is to select uh, the team. This is the format they want, so select the team. Uh, and I will format it into a, a line of, of, you know, of a string. So it's going to be a comma. And then uh, the, uh, the wins. And... Uh, we will add a comma again, then the um, the losses, so lost, and again delimited by comma, and finally the percentages, and that we will format a uh, number, uh, and we will format the percentages that uh, to string because we need it as a string and with three uh, decimal places so let me see what I did wrong here so we have that with wins and losses and, um, what did I do person I misspelled that percentage oh there you go so this will basically give us the whole line. It will say New York, 95, 67, and 0 0.586 separated by commas. So we will get the same file or similar file, except it's going to be ordered by the, uh, by the number of uh, percentages or the, per the highest percentage first. And it will contain also the actual percentage. So now we need to write the file. So this is the query that will get us uh, all the data now we will do simply for uh, for loop for i as integer equals zero to and we will loop depending on uh, the query count minus one because obviously it's a zero based and we will write a new file so new file we will write a line one line at a time and which line it's gonna be the query with the index of i so it will loop through each line basically it will loop one two three four five times and it will write a new file with the uh, percentages in it and already uh, it will have the first it will have the new york first uh, in the in order and boston last now we need to also since we are writing the file we need to close the file otherwise the ch uh, uh, it wouldn't save changes and this is really all there is so um, let me try that if see if it's working so I got the form I'll click the button 
and uh, now I, I don't have any messages that it was uh, you know it, it succeeded or not so uh, I'll simply go to solution explorer I will refresh it and here's our new file and you can see it has the new uh, I don't know if you can see that New York 95 67 and 0 0.586 which is 95 0 0.586 which is correct uh, as uh, the output is expected and let's say the last one would be Boston and 69 93 and 0 0.426 so we get the 69 93 and 0 0.426 so that's working as expected so again we are declaring our uh, writer which will create the new file we are querying the supplied file and we are splitting each uh, each of the um, elements of for each line into team wins and lost then from that we will simply calculate the percentage which is the wins divided by the number of games which is wins plus lost and uh, we will order by the percentage as requested by the assignment and it will give us uh, we will basically select the complete line with the team the wins the losses and the formatted percentage into three decimal places then we will query i mean we will loop through the query uh, we will have uh, basically the query will contain all these lines so we are simply looping through it through each of the lines and writing each line into the new file at the end we'll close the file to save the changes so that's that is that's all there is to this and um, i hope it was helpful i'll see you next time take care